Hi, I want to welcome you to the Open Space Visitor Center and my exhibition called Crane Music. My name is Loris Phillips. I'm an artist as well as a lifelong birder um, and I'm also a volunteer at the Modoc National Wildlife Refuge working with a population there of threatened greater sandhill cranes. All of this work is from photographs I took of those cranes and I'll be talking a little bit about that population, but mostly I'll be talking about my art. Um, the name of the show again is Crane Music and it's because when I was selecting photographs to paint from, um, the ones I was really attracted to look to me like music on a page. Um, this centerpiece is called Crane Music, and to me it's melodic. I have two other pieces that reference music. This one's a chord, and at the far side is harmony. As well as making my own watercolors, I make my tools too. I make brushes out of um, found animal fur, and the handles are made from bamboo from my yard. Um, I call them my wild brushes, and they, they really are um, kind of add a wild element. They're, they're really difficult to control. <laughs> um, so the, other, the, the, the reason, though, that I started using handmade uh, natural materials was because after many years of using oil paint, um, I started having respiratory issues with uh, the solvents and stuff. So I figured if it was bad for me, it was bad for the planet. And I originally went into painting with sumi, which is an ink. Um, sumi actually means ink in Japanese, and that is also non-toxic. And I'll show you some of the sumi paintings in the show also. So these also um, look to me like music as the cranes are, are passing through the sky. Um, the music of notes on a, on a um, staff. Beautiful thing. Um, this piece is, is a homage to Hokusai, who's a famous Japanese painter. Um, he painted cranes as well. A lot of people ask me about this little red hanko. That is a signature stamp and um, traditionally used in both Chinese and Japanese ink painting and also in calligraphy. This is the same ink that's used for calligraphy. Um, I did for years, I did uh, collaborations with the Zen priest and this was a, a name that he, he gave me. This piece is, is uh, I wanted to show you because it's also crane music. Um, it's one, a sketch I did when I was working on the larger piece. And it's just kind of, you know, I start sometimes loose and then get more specific or, you know, you kind of, and I keep opening and then tightening up and opening and again. And this one is, is a gesture of, of courtship, and I call it flirt. All right, so here's some more Sumi paintings. Um, the, you know, the cranes come through the open space visitor center fields, and uh, that's what inspired this show as well, is to, um, have some art of the cranes. This is a nest. Like I said, the cranes, um, the greater sandhill cranes in California nest in Modoc, where I take a lot of, where I take these photos that I work from. Um, this one was painted with a little weasel tail brush that I made. Um, this one's called Congregation. And this one is lean and, um, I think maybe some of you who know cranes have seen before cranes fly, they lean. And so that's that well, gesture. First of all, if, if you want to see this show and you can't come to the uh, Open Space Visitor Center, um, you can see it all online also on my website at lorisphillipsart.com. Uh, and if you want to purchase anything, you then go to the 
uh, open space link that I'll have there. So I also want to invite you to uh, the Crane Festival that they have here online. It'll be November 21st and I'm doing a presentation on the Cranes of Modoc and on the banding program there that I assist with. I've been uh, a volunteer there now for five years. Um, and I have lots of beautiful photographs uh, that I'll be showing you of all the, the crane family life, lots of colts. Those are the chicks, they call them colts. Um, and their courtship, their fighting, uh, lots of fun photos. So please join me for that. You can go on to the uh, Open Space website and find that.